Hello, I'm Simon Newton. A rouse erupted after an orchestra conductor who was jailed for sex offences against boys was booked to perform at a Suffolk church. Robert King is due to appear at Long Melford next month. Richard Daniel is at Holy Trinity Church tonight. Richard. Well, this fabulous venue is the venue for the concert by Robert King at the end of August. Now, he's a famous conductor. He's performed across the world. He's even produced uh, many a Hollywood film score as well. But there is disquiet in Long Melford because he is also a convicted sex offender. Holy Trinity Church, an impressive setting. But a concert booking here on August the 31st is proving controversial because the conductor is a convicted sex offender. In 2007, Robert King was jailed for sexually abusing boys. He was released in 2009. I think I've read somewhere that he is uh, grateful for the fact that he's had what he calls a second chance, a second opportunity, and I think we all rejoice in that. Uh, I don't think it's up to us to make a value judgment on this. We are really not responsible for the choice of the programme, of the music, or any of the participants. The concert's been organised by music and country churches. The charity has reportedly defended the decision to book Mr King, saying musicians of his standard attract audiences and raise more money for churches. This was the reaction in Long Melford. If he's served his time, and if he's behaving himself, and he's a good conductor, I don't see why he shouldn't be a conductor. I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally go to it, no, not at all. Um, I would feel very uncomfortable and it would go against my conscience. It's unforgivable. In a statement, Robert King said, I accepted my sentence and have paid my debt to society. I believe I do have something to contribute to society. Not everyone is given a second chance. I have been and am grateful for that. Supporters point out that the concert at Holy Trinity will raise much needed funds for church repairs. Well, Robert King says since leaving prison in 2009, he's been fortunate to have what he says is the rock-solid love of his family and the support of friends and colleagues as he rebuilds his life. That, of course, will be of little comfort to the people whose lives he's affected. Now, it's very clear that his rehabilitation to society and his resumption of such a high-profile role is, in the view of some people, downright wrong. Back Rich to you. Richard, thank you. Well, earlier I spoke to Neil Tooley from Circles, a charity that works to reintegrate sex offenders back into society. Um, there are sex offenders that are, uh, are living in the community, leading productive and safe lives, sometimes supported through, through circles of support and accountability. Um, and uh, you know, I, I don't know that, um, that the, the public by necessarily identifying somebody is at a greater or lesser lesser risk. And some would say, I'm sure it's a view you don't hold, that people like this can actually can never be rehabilitated. I think that um, often what will happen with uh, the parole process is that the parole board will look at the, the successful um, learning that the person has, has taken on board in, in prison and then make that decision that they can be safely released. It's not a decision that I, I have to make. Your view um, is that it's better for someone to be uh, accepted back, eased back into society than pushed to the margins? Yes, I mean certainly one of the factors that we know that um, is linked to a risk of reoffending, and that's clearly what we're, we're trying to prevent, is social isolation and people that are actively involved in their community um, are investing in their community, they're, they're gaining something from it, so therefore perhaps they are less likely to, to um, want to, to reoffend. But you can still uh, understand the unease that some people will have with, with the situation we've, we find ourselves in in Long Melford. I um, can't really comment on, on a, a specific situation. I, I think that if the public um, knew what was happening in the background with the management of any sex offender, they would feel a lot more re reassured. Okay, Mr. Tooley, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Sub so postmasters claim they've been.